Hi everyone, I'm Rich Tola. Welcome to another 5 minutes of fat burning workout number 18. Today we're going to work on hip openers. So I'm starting in squat pose or malasana. So with squat pose, you outwardly spiral your feet about 45 degrees and then you're going to go, you don't want to go too wide or you don't want to go too short. You want to go really where your back can be flat against the wall. So you want to scoop that sacrum, those fused vertebrae at the base of your spine, and then imagine just sliding down a wall. And you can come in, uh, into this up against the wall. Go up against the wall and just slide down. And then you're just going to hold right here. I like to take my elbows and push them into my knees to get the hips open even more. And then you can take your fingertips and press even more and just hold this pose. You can do various sets of this. So for squat pose, great hip opener, sink into it up against the wall and then do various sets or stay as long as you can. Good, now we're gonna come into another pose. We're gonna come into a pose called one-legged king pigeon or in yoga that's called ekapada rasha kapotasana. Try saying that fast three times. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the right foot forward. Now, a lot of teachers teach this where the shin is perpendicular. Mm, I don't like that. I like it where wherever the leg's gonna fall, so if you have knee issues, be careful. But what you want to think about is squaring your hips over top of your legs, looking forward, and then you want to get height in this pose. See how I'm really tall through the crown? Get height and then extend out like we're taking the heart on that table again, forward and then down. And then you want to get extension here. And then you come down onto your elbows. I like to go hands in prayer and then just relaxing the head down. And then breathe really deep. This is a strong hip opener here, and it's going to feel a little uncomfortable, but you want to breathe through that. So anything you're doing with stretching your hip openers, breathe deeply and slowly. So let's hold here for a 10 count. Ready? And then relax into it. If you want to extend your leg even further, you can come up on your, onto your toes and see how I'm sort of like walking this back leg back. Good. And then just relax for a ready? 10, 9, 8. Just release it down. 7. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And when you come up, you want to come up onto those fingertips here. Come up on those fingertips. And a nice way to go to the other side is to just sit back on your buttocks, swing the left leg around, take the right leg back, nice and slow. You know how we, we like to move nice and slow. And again, this concept of this leg being perpendicular, wherever it lays, you have two halves of your body, rarely are they the same, so my left side is always, always a little tighter. But again, you're trying to square those hips. Square those hips. Keep revolving this leg. So you're revolving that, that back leg. And if you need to get a little more extension, up on the toes. And again, heart forward and down. Walking the fingertips out, coming onto your elbows. And then hollow through the core as you just release down into this pose, right? Deep stretch, hip stretch. Right, just breathe deeply and then send the, send the energy into that space. Wherever that space is tight, breathe into that space. Let's do a 10 count, ready? 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Relax your shoulders, five, four, three, two, one. Good, slowly come up onto your fingertips. And the more you sink into that pose, the more you'll feel it as a hip opener. An alternative, so one-legged king pigeon is laying back down on your backs, right? You know how we like to come down from a boat pose, one vertebra at a time? Good. This is called thread the needle. So what you'll do is you'll cross, crossing right leg over that left knee. Now see how my, my heart's up, my chest is up, because I'm threading. Right hand's going to thread right through that little triangle, and you're going to clasp with the left hand underneath the hamstring, and then try to lay back down. Now, think about your left leg at a right angle as you lay back down. Now, what I'm doing concurrently is I'm pushing. I'm kind of pushing against the leg as I'm taking that bottom foot, that left foot, and I'm sort of pressing it, pressing it into a wall as I lay back down. Now, to go a little further, you could start to straighten into that left leg and try to bring that more towards you. See how I'm bringing the legs a little more towards me? It's also going to hit the low back area. Right? It's also good for sciatica. Good. Breathe. Let's do a 10 count. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly come down over to the other side. Right? Release that side. 
Again, we're going to start in this up position. Be careful with the neck, crossing over lightly. Like to thread the needle as we lift up, flexing the right foot, coming the right knee to a right angle, right? And then get comfortable here as you lay back down. The thing about hip openers is you want to find that discomfort, that uncomfortable feeling, and you want to stay there best you can and breathe into it. Let's straighten up into that. Good. Now see how I'm fully extending through the crown. You're trying to create length in the spine. Good. Let's do a 10 count. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Slowly come down. We're going to hug our knees into our chest. We're going to squeeze really, really tight here. And we're going to go with a happy baby pose. Outside edges of your feet. Or if you go to your shins, if you're able to go to your shins, up around the ankles. And what you're thinking about doing is bringing your knees to the ground. So you're trying to bring your knees, splay your legs out, and you're going to bring your knees as you, as you kind of pull down, but extend through the spine. So I'm creating length. I'm creating length, extending through the spine. This is your happy baby. You can also rock back and forth. Good. Now we're going to go... With a one-legged stretch, you're going to take the left leg straight up. Right leg is going to come into you. This is also a hip opener. Right here, wherever you can go, and now start to drop this left leg. You're going to hinge this left leg down and, and go as far as you can go. I can go all the way down to the ground. Deep hip stretch, and then relax. Ready? Let's do a five count. You should really feel this. Really feel this. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. One, we're going to bring this leg back up. As we hug our knees in, we're going to switch sides. So hug your knees in. Good. Switching sides. Right leg's going to go up. See how I'm flexing my feet? Good. Taking a hold of this. If you're able to grab the shin, you can go for the shin. I can go for the foot. You can lean up to get it, but then lay back down. Once you find that point as far as you can go, careful if you have knee issues, be careful. Let's start to lower down. So you're extending. So you're trying to press this foot as you relax down. Ready? Let's do it for a five, four, three, two, one. Good. Slowly come up. We're going to hug our knees into our chest, rock a little back and forth. Right? You know, we like to rock up. Excellent. So remember, for anything you're doing with hip openers, you can stay as long as you need to, right? If you need to stay a little longer on the one side, stay a little longer on the one side. And then add some more workouts to it. Afterward, maybe go out for that run, that jog. Keep it going. We'll see you next time.